Hello, welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper. So we do a lot of really neat uh, machining and welding videos here, um, fabricating all kinds of neat stuff. Um, and this is a manual only machine shop. We have no CNC's here. We absolutely hate computers. So it's all manual and we have some very unique pieces of equipment. So if you haven't subscribed already, please do so and don't miss out. Um, some really neat stuff to see here. So please check out the rest of our channel and subscribe and stay with us. Uh, today's video is the, we're going to unbox, wire up for three phase and test run a new PowerMax 85 Hypertherm plasma torch. Um, this uh, plasma torch I've been searching for for a while and due to COVID-19 and all the crap going on in the world, um, they're hard to find. It's been a very difficult process trying to find one of these. And finally, I tracked one down at Baker Gas in Wauseon, Ohio. Um, and uh, after several hiccups with UPS, um, it finally showed up. So let's get this thing unboxed, we'll wire it up for three phase, we'll give it a good test run, and, and then I can get back to work. So let's get started. Okay, so here it is. It's all unpacked. Um, the Hypertherm Power Max 85, the plasma torch, 25 foot hose, the ground wire, and this must be the kit that comes with it, the consumables kit that is supplied with the machine. And then this is the consumables kit that I bought extra. Um, they offered it, um, I think they said half price, so I bought it extra so I had more stuff. And then all of the books. So I'll go ahead and open up the books and figure out what I need to do to wire it for the three phase and then uh, we'll get her wired up. Ah, okay, this is pretty cool. The PowerMax 85 CSA model is a universal power supply that can configure itself to operate with AC voltages from 200 to 600, one or three phase, So, the way this is set up with this cord, and I already opened it up and double checked, but uh, this is already wired three phase. So all we gotta do is put our plug on here and uh, we'll hook it, all, hook it all up and try it out. So, we'll uh, get the plug wired in and I'll show hooking up all the, the, the torch accessories and stuff and we'll go give this thing a whirl. Okay, so we'll start with the, the torch end. That's the torch end. And you line up, I don't know if you can see it well, there's a notch on here, lines up with the notch on here. Plug and play, just like that. And then your work ground, there's a little notch on this one too. You can see it there, notch up, in, and twist along. Simple as that. Now when you connect this to air, make sure that your air source is clean, filtered, and dried air. Um, and we've got a setup here for that purpose. Um, and also we gotta put our consumables on before I forget about it. All right, so we're gonna put our torch together and it's pretty simple. This little plastic thingy, whatever the heck it is. <laughs> Our tip goes down in there like that. Or electrode, sorry. Our tip. And this piece. Tighten that down. And then this is our cutting guide, our tip protector guide. And for the most part, this is what I will be using, so this is what I'm gonna put on there. So simple as that, it's all together. Now let's head back in the back shop, the welding area, get this thing set up and uh, powered up and try cutting some AR 500. All 
Okay, so we got her wired up, turned on. Um, our switch is actually on the back of the machine here. This is a little different than I'm used to, but actually I like that. I got my air set up. I got some air leaks, obviously, in my piping here I've got to work on, but this is just to get us going, and then we're going to get uh, this big job done. I need to get out of here. So um, I'm set right now. I'm set at 60 amps. Uh, 75 PSI, we got our torch here. So let's, uh, let's bring you in with the camera, set you up, and we're gonna try a cut. This is AR500, half inch, and we'll just try a test cut on this. This is what we really gotta cut the most, so let's get moved in and get going. I'd say that was a pretty successful test. Um, half inch AR500 with the Hypertherm PowerMax 85. I had it set at 60 amps for the first cut, um, cut beautifully. Then I started, I turned it up to 65 and it cut even better. Just beautiful cut. Um, I had some air issues. I don't have enough volume coming back here. Um, so I'll work on remedying that moving forward. But uh, for now, I'll just use my trailer unit and my air filters and everything. And I should be in good shape to, to run this and finish the jobs I've got, but what a great machine. What, um, just very happy with it. Um, I could have got away with the PowerMax 65, but I wanted the 85 because it is a three-phase machine and it'll do a lot thicker material also. So that's why I went with it. It's, it's the three-phase mostly, um, but it'll do the job. It was a big investment but should be well worth it in the long run. So with that, we're gonna end the video here. Um, you can visit my website, www.toppermachine.com. And please like, subscribe, and share. Like our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our content. Help us grow, uh, stay with us. We're always doing all kinds of neat, different, unique things. Um, check out our playlist. Uh, there's a lot of neat videos. Um, and as we're just getting started with this anyway, it's been seven months. We're doing some pretty interesting array of stuff. So stay with us. Um, and until next time, get out in your shop and get it done right the first time. <laughs>